we, we were Christian before we were Muslim. I was a Christian before I was Muslim. We had to wear what was called your Sunday best to go to church. You didn't go to church wearing a t-shirt. In fact, you wouldn't even think of that. And if somebody did, they would have got, people would have stared at them, shocked. Like, why are you showing such disrespect to a house of God? That's how, that's how Christians would look at it. Why are you showing such disrespect to a house of God? By not even bothering to dress appropriately. By not even bothering to dress nicely one day out of the week. Well, it's, it's a casual day at work. We don't have to wear nice clothes. We've been doing that all week. That's not, that's not, the Muslims have a, we, we have a sanctity to the day of Jumu'ah. Ya Bani Adam, khudu zinatukum inda kulli masjid. Oh, children of Adam, ornament yourselves in every masjid where you go. Ornament yourselves. Wear nice perfume for other people. The Prophet ﷺ said, Man akal al baqlat al thum, aw al basal wal kurrath, fala yaqrabanna masajidana. Whoever eats garlic or leeks or onions, let him not come near our masajid. فَإِنَّ الْمَلَائِكَةَ تَتَأَذَّى بِمَا يَتَأَذَّى مِنْهُ النَّاسِ The angels don't even like what people don't like. So if you come to the masjid smelling like uh, last night's meal, and then you pray next to a person who's thinking about paradise, and you're reminding him of hell, Seriously, we have a problem. We have a problem. The masjid is supposed to be a place where you come for spiritual repose. It's a place of dignity. It's a place of sakina. The Prophet ﷺ said, if you come into the masjid, don't raise your voice, don't talk. He said, you're in prayer until you leave the masjid. He said, one of the signs of the end of time is voices would be raised in the masjid. He said one of the signs at the end of time is people would talk about worldly affairs in the masjid. You have the whole world to talk about worldly affairs. Leave the house of God to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدِ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا So you can see Islam spreading in America, but the question, what kind of Islam? What kind of Islam? Is it going to be slacker Islam? Is it going to be like the slacker culture that's out there? Or are we going to be shuhada ala nas? People that still have human dignity in an age of utter and complete human degradation. That's the question to ask yourselves. Are we going to be dignified people that dress in a dignified manner? Just because everybody else is dressing like that. Look at how Muslims dress for centuries. Even the poorest Muslims dressed beautifully. Go to Saeed, Egypt. Go to the Swat Valley, go to the Malaysian villages and look how Muslims dress in traditional clothes with human dignity. They never dress wearing billboards on their selling people's products that they don't even get paid to do. People wearing billboards, wearing all these things on their, you know, Nike and Tommy Hilfiger or whoever. That's I ask people, are they paying you? Do you have a contract? You're a human billboard. They pay money to put their name on billboards, cardboard boxes out there. They put money. They give money to put their names on billboards. They, they give money to put their names on pixelated images on the internet, and yet you're allowing them for free to put their name on your body, created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you don't even think about it. Human billboards. Total, complete, utter human degradation. This is what's happened to Bani Adam, the Khalifa. The Khalifa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only creature that walks upright, straight, mustaqim, with dignity. The only creature that can articulate his needs. That can complain if he has complaints that can praise if he feels a need to praise, that can give thanks and gratitude. We're the only creature that can do that. 
other creatures, dogs can show some gratitude, but they, they can't write a thank you note. Human beings are something exalted. We're an exalted species, and yet we've allowed Iblis to completely and utterly abase us. To rub our noses in the dirt, not for the sake of Allah in sajda, but to show what utterly degraded creatures we are. Because that was his claim. He said, you're choosing him over me? I'm a high thing. He's a low thing. He's nothing. And Iblis has been given respite until the end of time to prove to God that God was wrong. That's what Iblis wants to do. He wants to prove to God, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you were wrong in choosing Beni Adam. You should have chosen me and my progeny. I'll show you really how to worship you. Envy. And so that's his mission. 724. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day to degrade human beings, strip them of their, of their ornaments, make them naked. The Prophet ﷺ said one of the signs of the end of time is you'll see people walking in marketplaces, meaning they're not aboriginal people, where, where aboriginal people are like children. They have a purity, so they dress, they have so attained. They're not in marketplaces. He didn't say public, he said in marketplace, in civilized places. You will see people walking with their thighs fully exposed. That's a sign of, of the degraded state of people, not aboriginal people. Like native peoples that, that don't look upon each other lustfully in that way. But civilized people degraded to the point where they walk around with no shame. No shame. Shame is a beautiful thing. Haya, modesty. Every religion has a quality and a characteristic, and the quality and characteristic of my religion is modesty. A sense of shame. The Prophet ﷺ, they said that he was more modest than a virgin that was still cloistered, that hadn't come out. That was his modesty, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, alhamdulillah, your people praying Jumu'ah, there's lots of Muslims out there right now, they're not even bothering praying Jumu'ah. The good people, you know, inshallah, we ask Allah to be amongst the good people. But the good people come, even if they come uh, in less than the highest uh, desirable state. You know, so I'm not in any way, it's not for ta'yir to make fault or blame anybody. It's just tanbih al ghafil to remind people, wallahi, it's my intention. It's not to expose anybody or make any fault. It's just a reminder. Wa dhikr fa inna dhikra al But I have to be honest with you, I've mentioned this. People have come up to me afterwards, don't tell me how to dress. You know, get like, get angry. I'm doing it out of ghayra. You know, you have that word in, in Urdu for people that speak Urdu, ghayrat. You know, ghayrat. Ghayra is a beautiful word in, in, in Arabic because it, it's the idea of a protectiveness that you have for something that you hold dear. And if anybody tries to diminish the respect of that thing, you, you, get, you feel angry. That, ghayra is that, that feeling that comes inside of you when you see like your family member, your wife, your child being dishonored or disrespected. You feel ghayra. The, the religion of Allah is more worthy of our ghayrah than anything in this dunya.